Ahmad Chalabi was an expatriate. He was an operator. He was a, a brilliant man who had a scientific background and somebody who had character flaws that really undermined just about everything else he wanted to do with Iraq. I will be very much part of the future of Iraq, but I'm not a candidate for any political office. One day he called me up and said, um, I'm driving up to Kirkuk. Do you want to come? And I said, sure. So I jumped in the car. We looked at the pipelines that were being constantly bombed. And we stopped at various places. People would kiss his fingers as if he were the Pope. He'd promise uh, them favors, uh, which is the way uh, politics gets done in Iraq. And they would thank him uh, essentially on bended knee. He was never in doubt about his own abilities to fix the country. He told me a long story about his grandfather's uncle and a, a debt that hadn't been paid. And after he told this rambling anecdote, he looked at me and he said, one thing you should know about Iraqis, we never forget. And I think that it was settling scores, really, family scores, political scores, personal scores, that were at the top of the list of what he wanted to achieve in Iraq. That made him a politician, that made him an activist, that drove him, that gave him great energy. But first and foremost, strip away all the sophistication and all the history, you know, he was an Iraqi with a grudge, and he was never going to be anything else, and he really didn't pretend to be any, anything else.